Hey everybody, um, I was walking home from school today and my local Mac had just put out their Mac Surf Baby collection, which is their summer collection. And um, I knew that there was three things from the collection that I really wanted to buy and then there was a couple that I was iffy about. And so I stopped in to swatch and see things um, and I picked up the three things that I wanted because I knew they were going to sell out fast. Um, I ended up only picking up those three things. I'm going to show them to you. And then I also have a couple of other things I want to show you guys. And I know that I've been posting a lot of haul videos. And um, I just want to explain something. Like I work um, along, uh, like besides going to school. And um, the money that I make goes to my phone bill. And then whatever's left after my phone bill is taken out, I spend on myself um so yeah most of the time I buy clothes but I haven't needed clothes lately so I've been spending a lot of it on makeup and yeah and the only reason that I make I'm not trying to brag I'm not trying to show off or whatever but I love watching haul videos and I love seeing other people's swatches um and it really helps me decide whether I want something or not so there's just that. We'll go ahead and get started. I have something from the brand Yves Rocher, which Rocher, I guess, in French. I don't know. Anyways, um, I stopped in because I had read online that they had some really good deals if you joined their, um, like, Fidelity Club, like their um, rewards card or whatever. So I stopped in, and I had only planned on picking up one thing, but I ended up picking up a couple, there it is, I ended up picking up a couple of things, and um, I was really impressed with the prices. It's, I guess you could qualify it as drugstore, um, but the most expensive thing I bought was 13 euros, and... Yeah. I mean, I bought some eyeshadows and lipsticks for like three euros, which is nothing. So I'm going to start with the MAC because I know that's what you guys are probably most interested in. Um, let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on the look I'm wearing. It's kind of simple. And the lipstick I'm wearing, I don't own. It's the like light peach from the MAC Quite Cute collection, and I can't decide if I like it or not, but whatever. So let me just grab the MAC stuff. Um, I expect that the three things that I bought I think are going to be the most hyped about the collection. And so if you like any of them, I would pick them up fast. I don't know if this is available in the States yet, but I'm sure it is because we always get things afterwards. So we will just get started. The first thing is the MAC Surf Baby Cheek Powder. I haven't opened any of these yet. I don't know how I feel about the white packaging. I'm going to be honest. I'm not into like surf I don't know it's just not really me but um I love 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 the design on this and I don't know if this is gold over spray or not I'm gonna swatch this for you guys even though it's so pretty like I don't really want to touch it Okay, so here's the peach color, obviously, and then here's the gold. And it doesn't honestly seem to be over spray. I'm going to try and kind of, yeah, can you see how the gold is like raised up from the surface? So maybe once you get past down to the gold, it's not gold anymore, but it's really gold. So I'm super excited to wear this. I will probably do a look soon with some of the stuff I bought so keep a lookout for that um, and then the other two things I bought were both of the um, crushed metal pigments which they released last year with the color craft and I bought both of them and I love the packaging I love the texture of these because you can make you can do really sheer washes or you can do um, you can use them wet for like super metallic, gorgeous colors. So the two are 
Summer Stash, and Surf the Ocean. So I will show you Surf the Ocean. And they come, there's four of them, but they come, if you can see, they come in stacks of two. And when I bought mine last year, I just went ahead and like, you can take one of these caps off and then just twist them and have all four of them together. But I did that last year and I had one of them break. And actually these seem kind of sturdier than the other ones. Also, um, these actually have, um, Oh, I actually have my other one up there, but never mind. Anyways, these have labels on the bottom, and I don't think they did last year. So I loved the colors of these. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this one's actually a blue, and this one's a silver. I know my camera's, like, changing colors. So anyways, I'll swatch these for you guys. First, I'm going to swatch the silver. Whoa. Hold on, there we go. They also come with these little plastic things. I suggest keeping these. So this is what it looks like. And it kind of looks like the solar bits from like a collection a long, long time ago. Um, yeah, you can tell. These are super, super metallic. So that's the silver. If you guys like pigments, if you like anything that's really pigmented, um, I would definitely check these out. And then I will swatch this. It's almost duochrome. It looks silver, but it's like a like light blue. Like you can tell this the silver like isn't even coming off. Like it these stay all day long. I mean they're really wonderful. And it almost feels like they're almost creamy. So there's oh, one you can't really tell. I wish I could pick up the duochrome in this. Um, but I mean, there's a definite blue duochrome. Um, and um, then the two darker colors are kind of a dark aqua and a gold. And I really I, I really like that there's a gold and a silver in the same um, stack, just because obviously you don't have to use all of these together or anything, but this one is also really different than the stacks pigment. I think that the other one is more similar to the purpley, oh, see this one's really, eh, they're falling out on my keyboard. This one's got really thick rocks, but you have to be really, gentle with these because they do break apart and this one's definitely a bronzy gold I'll show you guys in just a second let me get this off my keyboard and I think that these I don't own any of the new Armani shadows yet um, they're new like eyes to kill or whatever they're called but I think that these probably are a lot like, okay, so there's the gold bronze. I would definitely say, like I said, it's more of a bronze than a gold. And I now have it all over my keyboard, but I have a duster, so that is good. And then the last color is this navy, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a, blackened teal is what I would call it. And I think that these, this color would look really great like on the waterline with any of these colors. So there's that, and it looks black on my screen, but it's definitely got navy. So there's the first stack. And then I'm just gonna go grab a wipe to wipe my keyboard off just a second. Okay, so. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will go ahead and show you guys the second stack, which is Summer Stash, and it is pinks and purples. And 
if I didn't have the one, my other one all wrapped up, I would show you. But this one is kind of similar. Um, you've got like a really pale, probably like a pinky color, and then you've got kind of a champagne color, and then a purple, and kind of a plummy bronze color. So I will swatch these. I'll start with the kind of light pink color. I'm not going to try and show you guys what these look like because they look the same. So there's that. It's definitely a super metallic, obviously, like icy, icy white. I wouldn't call it a silver. I would call it like an icy white with a little hint of pink to it. And then the champagne color, which looks seems to me to have a little bit of pink in it too, almost like a rose gold. So there's that one, and you can see it is champagne-y. Sorry, the glare is usually, I mean, this obviously lets you see how metallic these are, but, um, and like I said, you can use, you can run your brush over them really lightly with a big, like, fluffy brush, and you won't, they'll be sheer washes of color. So if you fall in love with a color, but you really don't wear like super bright pigmented makeup, um, there's definitely ways to work with these. And then here's the purple. I really love this color. I love the, that one in the gold together. Obviously not for summer. I would wear it in fall probably. That's the thing. Just because this is a summer collection obviously doesn't mean you just have to wear it for summer. And then the last one is the kind of plummy brown. Oh, and this one's so pretty. So there's that. And you can see all the sparkle in these two, especially in the last two. So, there is my little haul from Surf Baby. Um, there was a couple of lip glosses that I thought I might like. Um, there was a lipstick I thought I might like, but in the end, I, mean, I really just went with these because I thought that these were the standout products. Um, and I had something like everything else. And... Um, Sorry, these won't close. Okay, on to the Yves Rocher, which I will be fast about. I have two cream eyeshadows, a kind of liquid blush type thing, and um, two eyeshadows, two lipsticks, two cream shadows, and then the cream blush. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe off these surf baby swatches just so I can show you guys these and then I also have three of the new Bourjou intense eyeshadows which I've been so excited about I keep reading them about them on the blog because they showed up today and they had a two, do two euro off um, like coupon attached to them so I got them brand new two euro off which I thought was great so We'll just get started. I'll show you the lipsticks. These were $3.95 a piece. The packaging is plastic, obviously. These are the... I don't know which... I think these are just their, like, regular lipsticks. But it says, enriched with rose mus muscat oil with moisturizing properties, no animal ingredients, no lead weight, tested under dermatological, dermatological supervision. And I got two colors. Um... I got R104 and R103, um, and they have lots of different um, textures of these lipsticks. They're all fairly cheap. Um, they have all kinds of glosses. I didn't pick up a gloss. Um, but anyways, okay, so I will just swatch these for you. This one is R103. And it is a coral. Kind of like everything else I own. But I wanted to grab this and show you guys in case any of you have access to this brand. I know you can order it online in the U.S., I think. Um, 
They kind of smell nice too. I don't know how to really describe it. And then this one is R104. And this one is like a sheer nude color. But on my lips, it's just perfect. I wouldn't, I'm not going to put it on over this because this is like super pale and whatever. But anyways, this is a really great nude. And this is R104. And like I said, I think this is just their regular lipstick. Um, and then I got two eyeshadows, which I think were five euros a piece. And this is from their Luminelle line. I think they have multiple lines. There were some other eyeshadows that I swatched, but they didn't seem to be as pigmented as these, and they were more expensive. Um, let me get these open for you. This one is P102. Oh no, hold on. Number 78. And it's kind of just a brownie brown. And then this one is another silver. So... And I mean, these obviously aren't as pigmented as the MAC ones. And this has an interesting duochrome to it. I would say almost like a green duochrome. And it looks taupe on the screen. Um, but I guess you could call it taupe too. I don't know. It's an interesting color. It's kind of complex, which is not what I expected. And then here's this one. And I mean, this is just your standard a bronzy brown color. There are those two. And um, I'll show you. This is what I've heard most about them. And this is their gel blush. Okay. These things are teeny. Like, like teeny. Um, they only have... 0.23 fluid ounces in them just heads up but it's three euros and I thought that they had a ton of colors but I couldn't find any in the one that I was in this one is the limited edition one with their spring collection but I actually really like the color it's like kind of a corally pink aka Kylie's favorite colors um I'm just going to show you okay so there it is I'm going to show you on screen how these, these are like super watery in texture and they just, they blend out to these really, well now I got some brown in it, but ugh, that's annoying. Anyways, it blends out to this really great color. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be similar to like what I'm wearing today, kind of. And then the thing that I was most excited about was also the most expensive thing and they were $13.95 and they were the, um, Metal Glow Cream Eyeshadows, and they come in tubes like this. They have them in all different colors, and I bought one from the light shades and one from like the the normal shades, I guess. Um, ah, yeah, there we go. This one is um, Pastel Cream Eyeshadow, and then the Metal Glow Cream Eyeshadow. So I guess they have two lines. Um, the first one is the pastel and it's 03 and it has just a regular doe foot applicator but the color of this was so nice it's like a I'm gonna swatch it heavily just so you can see it's a nice like it looks gold but it's actually peach um, I'm going to test these out. Hopefully they dry down quick because I hate cream eyeshadows that sit on your lids and crease. And the Illamasqua liquid metals or whatever they are, are, I love, love, love the colors of those, but y I use them on faces during shoots because they crease so bad on my lids. And then this one is 03. And I think this is supposed to be like a rose goldy color. But there's that. And you can tell it's metallic y. And so, yep, I'll probably be using these in a look soon with the MAC pigments. And these new eyeshadows that I got today, which are the Bourjou Intense X Straight. 
they come in pots that are um, a lot thinner than the regular pots. I have one right here that I grabbed to show you guys. Okay, so these are the new ones. And instead of having like a, a little plastic closure, these are metallic. So I honestly think these will hold together better. And they have mirrors inside of them, which the regular ones do too. But the thing is, is that these are so big that you can't, like, I, I don't think this is useful. I think this one is a lot better. Say hi. <laughs> Anyways, um, I bought it in three colors. Like I said, when I bought them, they were two euros off. So I think they're usually 10 euros and I bought them for eight um, and for when you guys see the pigment on these, it's unbelievable. I'm going to start with the darker colors first. Um, this one is number six. And it looks like this. And I'm trying to think what I'm going to swatch these guys with. Um, I'm just going to use a... Um, I'm going to fast. I know that this is getting to be a really long video. I'm just going to use um, some sponge tip applicators that I've got right here because those are handy and they will show you how like super, super pigmented these are. And while I'm doing this, it says that they... Um, color intense, paraben free, hypoallergenic, intense color, twice as covering from the first stroke with 16 hour hold. Now, honestly, I don't know about the whole 16 hours, but I will tell you that these are amazing. So, this one is number six. And I just like barely swiped over the thing. Can you see that? It is insane. And these are like super creamy. This one I would say is like a blackened navy. Um, and then I got number five, which is a teal, which I am looking forward to wearing on my waterline, where I wear all the other teals. And this one is so pretty. I would say it's more of a green than a teal, but there's that. And then the last one, which is the one that I was most impressed by, is number one. And it looks like this. I don't know. Can you? I wish. Now it's not going to pick up the shimmer. But this thing is so shimmery and gorgeous, and I'm gonna swatch this one with my finger just because I really hope you guys can see how gorgeous this color is. It's a gold, and it's like not showing up with tons and tons of like silver glitter. Maybe if I put it, yeah, there you go. So, like I just did, I plan on using this as a highlighter. Or is a lid color with kind of a cat eye like today. But anyways, these are amazing. If you find them, if you're in Europe, pick them up, especially if they're on sale. I'll probably start collecting all the colors because these are amazing. And I'm pretty sure these are still mineral based, which means you should be able to use them wet. I will try and I will let you guys know. Um, I'm going to try and edit this down because it's so, so, so long. And if not, and you're still watching... Thanks for bearing with me, um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.